It is 650. This is your morning in eight minutes. Right now, an autopsy is underway after police found a burned body in North Knoxville. And this happened on Watauga Avenue la uh, late Saturday night. KPD says they met up with Knoxville fire crews to a reported tire fire in the area. After putting out the flames, investigators found the body of an unidentified woman. People who live in the area tell us they're considering moving because they no longer feel safe. This place is getting bad all the time. It's getting worse every day. When all the cops showed up and uh, then they put uh, the tape across the road, then yeah, I know there's something going on here. Police right now are trying to figure out how she died and how the fire started. If you know anything, please call Crime Stoppers. We have their number in the WVLT News app. And Crime Stoppers also need your help finding this missing woman. They're looking for Denise Andrade. She was last seen on July 28th with her mother around the hotels on Merchants Drive, Central Avenue Pike, and Chapman Highway. Investigators are worried she easily became a victim. Again, if you know anything, give Crime Stoppers a call. Well, one person is dead after being hit by a car on Henley Street. Knoxville police say this happened just after midnight yesterday morning. The 23 year old man went to UT Medical Center where he died. The driver stayed on the scene and talked with investigators. So far, no charges are filed. And a driver is recovering this morning after a crash on Clinton Highway near West Emory Road. Rural Metro says a car went off the road around 1:30 Sunday, hit a power pole and crashed into some portable buildings. The driver went to the hospital. Everyone inside the car is OK. And in Wares Valley, a driver has minor injuries after this crash on Saturday night. Scary stuff. Crews with the Alden's Creek Volunteer Fire Department say the driver was already out of the car when they got there. Firefighters then attached chains to the car to, to secure it until a tow truck was able to pull it off the edge. Starting October 1st, if you drive on the tail of the Dragon Highway, you're going to see more police patrols. The Blount County Sheriff's Office says it's an effort to help keep drivers safe on the curvy road. The tail of the Dragon is a section of Highway 129. The Sheriff's Office says since January, 93 crashes were reported on the 11 mile stretch. More than 50 people were hurt and two people died. Right now, the posted speed limit is 30 miles an hour. The Sheriff's Office says they're working to enforce that through increased patrols thanks to a grant funding provided by the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. And right now, Florida is under a state of emergency ahead of Hurricane Ian with 2500 National Guardsmen now activated. Both President Joe Biden and Governor Ron DeSantis are issuing that order. It allows federal officials to coordinate disaster relief and funding ahead of the storm. People living in Florida spent the weekend filling sandbags and stocking up on emergency supplies. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of people along Canada's Atlantic coast have no power following a hit from former Hurricane Fiona. It came ashore over the weekend at hurricane strength, sweeping away homes, uprooting giant trees and killing at least one woman. Recovery efforts continue in Puerto Rico, where Fiona knocked out power and caused severe flooding on the island. Fiona caused at least five deaths in the Caribbean. And the price of oil continues to fall, sitting below $80 a barrel at last check. That's good and bad news for us. Lower oil prices means gas prices go down, and according to AAA, the national average for a gallon has dropped about $1.30 since mid-June. However, it's also a sign that investors are concerned, some even worried about the way the U.S. economy is heading. And here's a look at the prices you're going to see at the pump today. 320 in Knoxville, a few cents above the statewide average of 317, but well below that national average of 373. And what was once thought only the stuff of science fiction movies is actually set to happen later today in outer space. NASA will attempt to slam a spaceship into an asteroid nearly 7 million miles away to change its course. It's about the size of a vending machine. NASA's DART spacecraft will be flying 14,000 miles an hour when it slams into the small moon that's orbiting an asteroid. The impact will not destroy the moon, but NASA says they want to be able to nudge it off its course. The rocket will send images back to Earth as it's closing in on impact. And back here on Earth, President Joe Biden will be hosting the Atlanta Braves this morning at the White House. The team is there to celebrate their World Series <laughs> championship from October. It's a tradition for sports teams to visit the White House after winning championships. WVLT is proud to be your official station of the eighth ranked Tennessee Volunteers. <laughs> yeah, the Tennessee football team cracking the top 10 for the first time since 2016. And the Vols kicking off a much needed off week coming off that big win against Florida. They now have two weeks to get prepared for their first SEC road matchup down in Baton Rouge against the LSU Tigers following an offensive masterpiece. Quarterback Hendon Hooker being named the Walter Camp National Offensive Player of the Week. He becomes the first Vol to win the weekly award since 
Josh Dobbs won it back in 2016. It was electric out there. You even saw oh. Tony Vitello, who was getting Look the crowd pumped up. Well, I love that he said his only job was to not get arrested. <laughs> I think he did that. Uh, yeah, I think he did that. All right, let's get a look at traffic this morning with Whitney Turner. All lanes of I-75 northbound back open in Campbell County after some overnight road work got wrapped up just north of the Caribou exit. You're in good shape as you're heading out the door on this Monday morning. Right now, those interstates and main roads are on time. The only thing that could slow you down is some pockets of dense fog along the roadways, but those views do vary. Trying to show you a look on the interstate at Walker Springs. That's where you can run into some very dense fog as you're heading toward downtown Knoxville. But again, those views vary. This is 75 at Merchant Drive in a little bit better shape there. Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Paige Noel. Yeah, we got some of that fog this morning, but we're starting to see really comfortable conditions out there as those dew points have been dropping throughout the morning. You see them, some of them into the upper 40s there. Oneida to Cross, so it's a little bit closer to that refreshing category. Most of us in the Pleasant, maybe a little bit humid. You could still see some yellow here in Knoxville, but we're going to continue to watch those dew points drop, that humidity drop that's really going to make all the difference heading into the next several days. You could see really dry air moving in as we head into the afternoon hours, continuing to stick around Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, most of the day on Friday, but then we are going to start to track more humidity as we track some rain towards the end of the week into the weekend as we're keeping an eye on the tropics, but enjoy this beautiful weather. 76 today for that high. We're going to drop into the 40s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday morning. Upper 60s on Wednesday for that high. That's going to feel great. And then we're hanging on to the lower 70s. There's that rain making it to come back Friday and into the weekend. But guys, the weather the next few days is awesome. I mean, I'm going to enjoy that. Yeah. Coffee on the porch, yeah. outside. Maybe take the show out. outside. We've got yeah. plans for this week. Why not? <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We're headed on over to WBXX. Have a good one.